I've been told that in sub-Saharan Africa, a total of 12 months of rainfall occurs in only four. From May to August, the ground absorbs the rain and the seeds that have been planted begin to grow. The months of October and November are filled with celebration, with singing, with dancing. The season of harvest arrives and everybody enjoys two meals a day. And with December, grain begins to run low and many families, they skip breakfast to conserve food. And when January comes, a new year does not bring new hope. The size of one meal continues to grow smaller. And by the time March rolls around, many children are sick. An Assemblies of God missionary recounts the inevitable story where a young boy runs into his home and says, Daddy, you're not going to believe what I found. I found a bag of seed, a bag of grain. Hurry, grab mom so that she can make dinner tonight and her tummies can be full again. And I can just imagine the father looking his young son in the eye saying, son, we can't, we can't do that. That's next year's seed grain. It's, it's the only thing between us and starvation. And in May, the rains finally arrive and the young boy will watch his father dip his hand into that bag of grain and walk up and down the dirt and slowly but surely begin to plant the seed. The most precious commodity and possession that the father and the entire village has is thrown into the dirt. Why? Because he believes in the harvest. And in our day, God summons us to plant the gospel, regardless of how dry or dead or dormant that soil seems. Why? Because Jesus is a root even out of dry ground. As we look to the future, let's grab the next generation by the hand and we walk up and down the harvest field, wherever our harvest field may take us. And let's plant the seed of the gospel, the Holy Spirit, and the mission. Our focus remains resolute to what Jesus called us to, so that the next generation will become gospel-centered, spirit-empowered, and personally responsible for the mission of God, until all know.